Hey guys, so welcome back to my last Halloween tutorial of the year. This is the Mystic Gypsy look. Very colorful, boho, and just a fun costume overall. So to begin, I'm going to start off with this L'Oreal New Foundation, which is a liquid to powder formula. And I'm going to apply this all over the face, and I'm using a Sonia Kashuk um, foundation brush. And I also put it on a little dish just because it's actually easier than straight from the bottle to the face. And it's a lot more sanitary. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And I actually really like it because I don't know if you guys can tell in the before and after. My face looks a lot more flawless with this foundation. Next, I'm just going to conceal and brighten up my face. Um, this is a concealer from CoverGirl. Now, the formula, and I'll write down the whole product list in the description bar, or actually, it's going to be in my blog, but I'm just going to brighten up my face. The formula actually feels really cold, which is something that I really like because I feel like it kind of depuffs my eyes as well. And then here, I'm just taking um, an angled foundation brush from Sigma, which I love for foundation and all that. So I'm going to use that to blend it out. And then here, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with this brow kit from Benefit that I've been lusting and using a lot. Um, so I'm just going to take it and start by filling in my eyebrows. You can see the before and after so much better after I fill them in. I don't know why I took so long to actually start filling in my eyebrows. But anyways, um, I'm just going to finish that up. And then I'm going to go back into the same concealer and clean up the edges because I haven't... Um, threaded my eyebrows in a while which is why I think for me it's very important to clean up my eyebrows because it conceals the hair around and it just gives it a cleaner more defined look. Now after I apply the concealer I just go back with a clean synthetic brush from Sigma. This is just a great brush overall and I use it to blend out the concealer and then this is a Tarte um, uh, cosmetics powder and I'm just gonna dust this all over my face to set the liquids and the creams and then here I'm going into this MAC paint pot and I'm using the same brush that I used to clean up the edges around my eyebrows and I'm going to apply this as a um, eyelid base for the colors because we are going to be seeing a lot of colors so I'm just going to blend that into the top eyelid entirely all the way up to my eyebrow and then on the bottom lash line because as you can see on the other eye I have a lot of color going on now the look that I'm going for it has a really nice clean edge so I'm just going to take some tape and then I put it on the back of my hand just to kind of take some of that stickiness away so it doesn't peel off the skin um, and then I'm going to just angle it as close as possible to the other side so they're nice and symmetrical. And I'm taking a soft brown color with a blending brush and applying that onto the crease as a transitional color and also on the eyelid because it's just going to help the other colors grab on a little bit better. Now this is a new palette from Sigma inspired by Macaroons. And I'm just going to take this nice lavender color and apply it right where I applied the first brown. Um, so onto the crease and a little bit onto the eyebrow and then this is a makeup forever palette which has a lot of intense colors and I'm going to take a dark um, almost black it's kind of like a smoky gray and that's going to go with a flat shader brush on the entire eyelid Here I'm just going over with a, um, a brush without color just to kind of blend out the edges of the dark purple and the smoky gray. Next you want to take your favorite highlight. This is sort of a, like a vanilla color highlight with a little bit of shimmer. That's going to go right beneath the eyebrow. And then here I'm just going to remove the tape and buff out that edge because it's way too clean for this look. We don't want it so sharp. So I'm just going to buff it out a little bit. And then I'm going to take this blue sort of aqua-ish color um, from NYX. And I'm just going to line my bottom line and then go over the top with this really nice electric blue from Makeup Forever right on top to just kind of set that powder or that um, crayon. And then here I'm just also going to line my waterline and um, line my top lid with a liquid liner. Okay. 
So here I'm just gonna take a few coats of my favorite mascara and I'm also gonna do a few coats on the bottom lashes because I don't wanna forget them. I wanna make sure that my eyes look nice and opened and I know a lot of people do tend to forget the bottom lashes but they're just as important as the top ones. Um, right after this, I'm just going to take my 101 Demis from Ardell and I'm just going to apply false lashes to both eyes and this is gonna make my eyes look super more glamorous. I love wearing false lashes. And the 101 Demis from Ardell are definitely one of my favorites because they're so wearable for daytime and they also can make an eye look way more glamorous. Now, this is a palette that I've had for a few years, and I'm just gonna take a dark contour color. You can take any bronzer that you have, and I'm just gonna buff that into the hollow parts of my cheeks, as you can see, just to kind of give it more of a defined look. And then I'm going to take a pink eyeliner for my lips and line them, and then just top it off with this creamy, nudish, um, sort of champagne color right on top. Now I've had this costume for about two years. Um, I'm just going to apply the headpiece and I'm also going to take some rhinestones and apply them um, right along the eye, sort of going towards the tip of my eyebrow. And I'm also going to pop on some big earrings just to kind of finish up the look. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is apply a big gem right in the center of my two eyebrows. And I am completely done. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween tutorial and I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Thank you and I'll see you later. Bye!